Alright guys, James here with Predecessor Productions, bringing you some more StarCraft 2 Let's Play. We left off last time after kicking Orlin's douchey ass off the planet. Let's get into what Hansen has to say. I can't believe it. That recording proves it's all true. Mengsk, Tarsonis, all of it. What will you do now? Tell the people. Every man, woman, and child in the Dominion needs to know what their beloved Emperor is capable of. The backlash will be awful. There'll be riots and uprisings everywhere. But that's just what you want, isn't it? It's a start. Hell yes, it's a start. Cantina. The news! Shocker. Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains, the Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tolosky's film highlights the seeming convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes. I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. Up next. Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives' tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? <laughs> well, uh, it looked like uh, Manx was getting pretty pissed off there, and you know, uh, liars get pissed when they're caught in the act. I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Manx? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Manx be a force for change. I fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line by using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. No kidding. To the armory! Anything to say, Swan? Jesus. It's, oh, it's just Spider-Man's. Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call them that. Of course, most folks like a bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart-ass Swan. I like smart asses, but then again I am one, so I guess my uh, two cents doesn't really count there. Okay, don't really care, um, SCV, yeah, I could get that. Make him repair just a smidge faster. Whoa, Matt, you have nothing to say this time, thank god, you're fucking annoying. Okay, so we had uh, Haven, New Folsom, Trader Valhalla. Jesus Christ, we have all kinds of shit. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. Oh, I'm sure something has. Let's go find out. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ire are known to us. Antaro Tassadar Salendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. 
If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. Okay. Three Zerg research or three Protoss. Side with the Terran refugees against the Protoss. This will anger the Protoss, but it will buy Dr. Hansen more time to search for a cure. Regardless of whether she finds a cure or not, Hansen's efforts will lead to new breakthroughs in re Zerg research. Side with your old allies, the Protoss against the Terran refugees. Dr. Hansen will see this as a betrayal, but your actions will come. Okay, you know what? Fuck Protoss. I'm going with the bitch. I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save him. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank oh, you, fuck. Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Get the feeling I just made a terrible Jim, decision. The are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Dope. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. Got you covered, babe. Okay, yeah, I get to fight the Protoss instead of the Zerg. God damn it, I make horrible decisions with my life. <clears throat> you can build two Vikings at a time if you attach a reactor to the starport. Thank you, I get the feeling those things are going to be coming in very, very helpful. <clears throat> Current mission, safe haven, long ass load time. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Come on, let's go. Faster, come on. <laughs> Woohoo! There's my sweet ass Vikings. Okay, looks I've like there's only the two Nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the purifier. SCV ready. Okay, so what do you, uh, okay, 75 minerals, or 150 minerals, 75 Some of gas. the colonists didn't make it to our base in time. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. Destroy the Protoss Nexus. Zero to three, okay. I think I can handle that. Maybe, probably not. Just gonna end up fucking it all up. Okay, I don't really understand why I'm putting a tech lab on that. I'm not really going to be using it. I'm going to be going the typical marine and uh, mixing it up with some uh, Vikings this time around. Let's go do a little scouting. Still making SCVs. Yep. Yes, indeed. There's the Eat my ass. Well. Fuck you, Phoenixes. Ready. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my Viking. Maybe even two of them. 
Oh wait, why don't I just do this? Phoenixes can't Sir, attack ground. The purifier has arrived and is on the move. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. SCV ready. Veto engaged. Okay, put those guys in gas. Start cranking out a couple Vikings. Yeah, right. Okay, so uh, what happens if the purifier just butt fucks everything? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that's gonna be bad, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm going. Not enough minerals. Oh, come the fuck on. Ready. Big job, huh? What's going on? I yep. can use those, uh, multiple oh, SCVs do. The purifier's coming into range of a colony base. Help, uh, get these up and running. Not enough minerals. I'm gonna be needing a lot of Vespian for uh, these Vikings. You ready for war? Let's get into the fight. SCV ready. Let's go see if we can't take out uh, Victory. No one lives this forever. Nexus a bit more, or uh, at least weaken All the defenses right. around Le Nexus. Guys, work on that for a bit. Armed and ready. Wonder Looking if I stop by the colonists, Short what exactly day. do they do? Do I get any sort of benefit out of it? Inbound. SCV ready. Very well. Agreed. Certainly. All right, let's move in. Okay, I'm gonna take a few of these guys off. I really need uh more SCVs on minerals. Okay, nope, nothing looks like that does any good. Couple more of those going. Start working on that. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. Big job, huh? Sure thing. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, they just got pooped on. I'll probably call down some, uh, Mercenaries here soon. One Nexus down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Right. Yeah, right. Thought he said he was. I thought he said he was gonna. I thought he was going to say we gotta stop that ship. I was like, Rainer, you watch your mouth, you whore. Commander, a Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. Okay, you know what? No. Fuck it. I'm staying on mission. Jesus Christ, that's not that fucking stalker straight up snipe that. Ready to blunder. Okay. Go uh go faster. Go faster. The colonists need help. They're gonna destroy our ship. We're all going to die. Fight or flight. Yeah, right. This better be good. Thanks, Rainers Raiders. We're getting out of here. For war. Made 
ready for battle. The colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the purifier's path. Ready to blunder. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. Oh shit. Right. Yes, they most certainly did. Okay, save colonists, get money. Kinda like fuck bitches, get money. God damn, this is working out way too well. We could use some help here. I'm sure you could use some help, but uh, help isn't really coming because I'm getting ass loads of resources. Bad news. Move it. Fighter. Ready to blunder. Okay, where is that goddamn ready purifier? You ready for war? Okay, so while it's over there, Hold. I think I'm gonna try and sneak down along this side and uh, see what Safe I can see way. down by this bottom nexus. You want a piece of me, boy? Oh shit! All right. Okay. Um, yeah, carrier. Agreed. Kill it in the face. Well, that's taken care of. Well, what the fuck else is waiting for me? Void Ray. Never fun. Archon, holy shit, run for your life. No one lives forever. Victory. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to come in, plop down, and snipe the Archon. Once it brings its ass back here. Yep, there it is. Kill the Archon. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill, kill, kill. Okay, lift off, lift off. Fuck the zealots. Kill that. Kill it, kill it. Thank you. The Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. I don't think Matt understands how little I care about the fucking settlements. So apparently Vikings are just the most OP thing in the fucking world. Burn and pillage. Who wants some? I like it. The no biggie, lost those guys. Going to push out with these. Ready to blunder. Let's get in. Ready to blunder. Ready for transformation systems primed. Inbound. This better be good. Make sure I've got all these guys at base. 